Christmas greetings and uh, wishing you a wonderful, joyful, Christ-centered, blessed day as we celebrate the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for taking these few moments with us as we reflect on the merry miracle and the work of God has released through us. When it came time for Mary to give birth to Jesus, Mary and Joseph traveled from where they were to Bethlehem. And it tells us that in Luke chapter 2, verse 7, it says, And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. That's very, very interesting. If we use our imagination and just think what must have been going through Joseph and Mary's minds as they journeyed to Bethlehem in anticipation of the birth of Jesus, the baby, the incarnate Son of God. Mary must have thought, surely, you know, the angel who came and announced to me the birth of Jesus would have gone, gone before us and reserved the best room in the best inn in the town of Bethlehem. She must have thought about that. She must have think, man, this is God's son being born. I'm sure there are going to be angels attending to me when I give birth. I don't know. I'm just using my imagination. But to their surprise, uh, they come to Bethlehem and it's crowded. Lots of people in there. And we don't know how many places they went to looking for a room. But finally, they came to this one inn where the innkeeper said, you know, there's no room here, but the cow shed, the manger is empty. You can use that. In all of her wildest dreams, Mary would not have imagined that her firstborn child would be born in a manger, in a cow shed, in, in an animal stall. And since it was not pre-planned, you could just imagine it. it must not have been very clean. We don't know. But there in that manger, baby Jesus was born. There's a lesson for us to learn that when God wants his work released through us, we might face closed doors until we come to the very place where God wants to release his work through us. A closed door does not mean that what you are carrying is not from God. It just means that God wants you to move on to the place where he does want you to release his work. So that's one very important lesson to learn. That when you and I come to the place appointed for us, in that place we will release the work that God has birthed inside of us. Another important lesson we learn from here is that the work of God often has simple, humble beginnings. The Son of God was born in a manger. The one who died for the whole world, the one who changed the entire course of human history. This was God being born on the earth and he was born in a simple manger. Very often, great things have humble beginnings. So don't despise the simple, humble beginnings because the work that will, that the work that it will grow into can transform the world like Jesus did. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you orchestrate things in such a way that you bring us to the place where you want us to release the work conceived in us by your Spirit. And even if the beginnings are simple and humble, we know that it will fulfill its design purpose in impacting the world for your glory. Help us to journey with you each step of the way. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.